Here we are again with the same Mazda. Today I'm going to change the exhaust pressure sensor. I'll show you why. So the car is running. I'm on the live data section of it. And as you can see, the exhaust pressure sensor is reading only 86 kPa at idle. It should be reading 100 kPa. So that's the exhaust pressure sensor. And that is the old one. Let me turn off the car so that it can will be hear me better. So that is the exhaust pressure sensor. And as you can see, it is old one. There are three revisions already as far as I know. That one, that color, um, L-shaped, same L-shaped, but full plastic, black. And another one, the new one, which I'll show you, which is an eye shape and a metal one. So I'm going to show, uh, change that, show you how to change it. And also like read the data, like I've shown you already the before readings and I'll show you the after readings and I'm going to test the sensor as well. So here is the new exhaust pressure sensor from Mazda. As you can see, it's genuine in parts. Here's the sensor itself. As I said, it is a metal one. So the, the nipple of it, it's metal. On the old one, they are plastic. You need an adapter wire so that don't forget to put that back. Um, two clamps for the rubber hose and the bracket bottom top bracket and two nuts so i'm going to remove the old one and stop and put the new back, new one back in i have unplugged two injectors disconnected the exhaust pressure sensor and removed those like plugs plastic plugs which holds the wiring to the valve cover just to have better access to the exhaust pressure sensor and the bracket and there are two bolts they are eight millimeter bolts one there, one there. So that one is for the sensor, that one is for the bracket. First, I remove the sensor one and then for the bracket. The bracket is removed. You won't need it, so you can disregard it. Only keep the bolt, which goes here for fixing the bracket, because you got another bracket in the kit. And now this is free. What you need to do, you need to undo that metal clip hose clip and down there is another one so that you can remove it with the rubber hose you can try to undo it that uh, the bottom one only and pull it off um, and yeah you can remove it and put back the new one in so now the pipe is removed I connected back the sensor just to show you and check the live data to confirm that the sensor is bad so it is removed and now it should read 100 kPa or one bar I think 100 kPa is one bar so that is atmospheric pressure and if I show you it still reads 74 something so I have my Mitivac here where I can apply pressure with it so let's connect so yeah we connected that and now I'm going to apply pressure whilst checking the the actual pressure what the sensor reads so I when I apply pressure it rises but if you see I only have maybe 25 and it is showing nearly 100 I can go further if I want so now it is in red so showing 158 kPa and we are not even at 100 so that I can confirm that the sensor is bad and a pipe I'll clean the pipe down there as well because I've seen like a bit of carbon deposits there as well so here is that pipe which is underneath the pressure sensor obviously this is not from this car because it is really difficult to remove I just got an old one so it's down there and you need to clean it as the best you can so how we do it with a wire piece of wire just put it in and then try to clean it spray some um, cleaner in there and then clean it and again with this like pipe blockage tool you clean it as much as you can obviously unfortunately it can't be 100% because there is like a very tiny hole on the end and there is a bunch of bolt so you won't be able to clean it 100% but without removal this is the best what you can do and then I'll pull vacuum on it and see if it lets or if it has any blockage or it, if it has a free flow I already pulled vacuum on it um, well let me try to show you as well yeah so it goes back it's it's not free exactly free flow but this is the best what you can do and once you're done you can put back the new sensor 
check again for live data if it reads the correct pressure and then you're good to go the new sensor is wired up as you can see and let me show you the readings it is nearly 100 kPa so that's where it's supposed to be so now we verified that the wrong one is being changed so now we rectified the issue we can just put back the parts start it up fire it up take it for a spin for a test drive and the car will be good to go okay the new exhaust pressure is put back together i just need to cut the zip ties start the car up delete the fault codes check the live data and take it for a test drive and give it back to the owner as you can see this is a new bracket so basically you keep the old bolt for the bracket and here the bracket goes that i don't know what that is a neck which is held by 10 millimeter nuts two of them it secures the sensor in its place and yeah the car is good to go the car is running as you can see at idle and i'm monitoring the live data here is the exhaust pressure live data and the pressure is where i exactly want to be so the repair was successful i can park this one outside and bring back another one